good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef King Chef Shalom, back in the building. I'll praise to the Most High for another day. Hopefully, you brothers been out there grinding, you know, handling business, doing what we're supposed to do. But hey, let me rock with y'all boys real quick. So, I'm gonna ask y'all boys something, and I'm being for real. What would you do for $10 million? You know, if somebody came up to you and was like, I give you $10 million if you do this, what are you willing to do for that money, bro? You know, the reason I ask you that is because it's brothers out here who are willing to break their principle or break their code or something that they quote unquote stand on for some money. Are you one of them people? So if somebody told you, you know, I give you $10 million if you kill your mother, would you kill your mother for $10 million? What's the price that you would kill your mother for? You know what I mean? You know, my fault for coming off so, you know, harsh or aggressive on this video, but it is what it is. You'll, you'll understand the point when we get to the end of the video. Um, me personally, for example, I don't eat pork. I, I haven't eaten a piece of pork in over... I haven't eaten a piece of pork in probably about 10 years at least by now. You feel me? So, at least 10 years minimum. So, with that being said, it's like... If somebody came to me, you know, chef, I'd give $10 million if you eat this really small piece of bacon or ham or, or uh, you know, I don't know, whatever other pork products there is, either pork rinds or something. I'd give $10 million. All you got to do is just eat this little piece of pork. I'm going to have to walk away from the money. It is, if they say $50 million, if they say a $1 billion, just to eat this one little piece one little piece you know it ain't nobody in the room but me that person and and, uh, and 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 the most high you feel me all you gotta do is eat this one little piece and i give you a billion dollars nobody gotta know nobody gotta know how you get your money nobody gotta know that i'm gonna have to walk away bro and, and you might think like, oh, chef, you crazy, bro. One billion dollars, I'm gonna eat that little piece of pork. And I understand that's something that you willing to, you know, go against. Or maybe you already eat pork, for example. So it ain't nothing for you to go ahead and eat a little piece of pork. But I'm asking, what would you do against your morals or your principles for some money? I look at it like this, right? Somebody offered me a billion dollars to eat a piece of pork or a million dollars or ten million dollars it don't the number don't matter right if somebody offered me a, a, a lump sum of money that could change my life and and the life of my family for years to come you feel me am i willing to go against my code or my principle or my beliefs you know what i mean or my standard just to get financial gain and like i said i'm, I'm gonna have to decline that offer i look at it like this if the most high sees me eat that piece of pork it's like dang bro you know what i mean you you stand on this for me you know you stand on this because i instructed your our people not to do this you stood on that but when it came to the money you know you were willing to throw it all away so i mean that in, in a sense you're saying that this is more powerful than your beliefs this money is more powerful than your beliefs and i'm not saying that money is all i'm not saying money is evil or nothing like that you know what i mean but it, you know the the root of evil you know a lot of times does stem from money in this in this situation is a prime example me eating pork is considered evil i'm breaking the commandments right so with me eating a piece of pork being evil and sinning you know for the love of the money for the love of money is the root of all evil you feel me but i'm i'm, I'm saying this to say if i decide to decline it yeah, I might not get the billion dollars right then and there, but who's to say the most high won't bless me or not that I, you know, I'm standing on principle, I'm denying myself, you know, for the, the, the stay, the, the, to continue to try to stay righteous in his eyes, you know what I mean? He might not bless me with more than that. It might be a different kind of blessing. It may not always be, okay, you turn down a billion dollars, the most high gonna bless you with two billion. It may not be like that. It could be, you feel me? You might have an opportunity to you know build something and, and it allows you to see that kind of money or or double that kind of money or you know my business for example 
you know, me declining that offer for the billion dollars to, to, you know, to break the commandments to eat the swine, I might have, the most I might have a setup that an opportunity might come my way for me to, you know, act upon in regards to the chef soul glow and then and then now I'm a billion dollar company. You just never know. But I I rather go and and receive that kind of blessing from the most high than me go against my standards going because it don't matter. Yeah you ate that little piece of pork. Yeah you got the money bro. But if you got any kind of like if you got any kind of morals or or like you gonna feel it in your soul, bro. You gonna be like, damn, bro. I know I really kind of, I really just sold out for this money. That's that's really selling your soul. You selling out because you willing to, you know, step off your principles, off your standards, you know, to for for a dollar. We can't be like that as men, bro. We gotta stand on our principles. We gotta stand on our standards till it ain't no more, no more, nothing else to stand on. Till we just standing on air. You feel me? So. You know, I ain't want this video to be that long. I just want y'all boys to understand, bro, you gotta stick to your standards. That's the whole point of this video. Stick to your standards, stick to your morals. If it's something that's against your, if it's something that's against your standards or your morals, bro, your beliefs, bro, do not do that junk. I don't care what, I don't care for who, I don't care for any amount of money, bro. You stand on your principles, dog. You get way more respect like that, bro. It's all about respect. You like you're not gonna respect yourself if you go against your beliefs, do something that you know that you're against just to get some money, bro. It's it's deeper than that, bro. You know, it's deeper than that. But hey, this your boy King Chef Shalom. All praise to the most high. If the message apply to you, you charge it to the game. If it don't, you keep it pushing. Shalom, y'all boys.